Welcome back. Oh, Ancestor Reek. Oh no, wait, it's it's actually Vision. <laughs> Just kidding. You got <laughs> Gotti. Boy, what a what a fool I was that to think said. there'd be power in this pack. All right. Well, you want me to send you some food so you can keep draft? <laughs> you definitely don't have to do that. Although I always appreciate you, man. We're not gonna say no, but we're not gonna say yes. That's pretty much where I am. Like, God, it's like it's hard because like. Yeah, that's super cool. I don't mind getting food from Christian. He can he can afford it. Like we work streaming, whatever. But then I'm also like, God, you don't have oh, you don't have to do that, even though you, I know that doesn't affect you in any way, shape, or form. <sighs> Should we just take the Chandra? Yeah, there's nothing healthy at Wingstop. Let's just be that's true. Clear. Even if you could just just get wings, like the sauce is pretty bad for you. I know. I track that. Okay, eight boneless wings. Four. Carolina. What are we taking? Let's figure out what we're taking. I'm gonna I'm gonna write my my order in yeah, the we can chat. Just like, they're open until like midnight. We we can wait. I think I, just I want, can just message Kurt. For you no, I want to exhume. No, I don't. I want Chandra. I want exhume. I want I want to do something different than consecrated Sphinx because that's all we do. Oh God, do we just take? Ready, just what if we took this? Yeah, yeah Kurt, I'll send you a message. I feel like you just don't like playing that. But, I mean, if you're down, I'm down. I don't. I really don't like playing it. But I like Storm if you can get a deck that's not terrible. What I love is the artifact, like, Tinker deck. But that's hard to to make happen. I mean, he's a good Exhume target, to be fair. Maybe Battlesphere is even better, though. Eh. You, think it's, you don't think no, it's... You're, right. you're going to yeah, go yeah, wide, yeah. man. Yeah, I'm going to do it. There's a coercive portal. Are you coerced? Are you not coerced? I think I'd like Curse of Portal. This guy is going to table. I guarantee yeah, you. Right. Actually, that's fair. It's triple black. Oh, yeah. Liliana of the Veil is nice if we are trying to reanimate. It's also sometimes pretty oppressive depending on your opponent's strategy. All right, I'm gonna type. I'm gonna type my. I was gonna do it for you because you have the free hands. Type it. What do you want? I it's easier for me to type on the keyboard. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah take that so Lily. Dothy Voidwalker. Also, Charter Course is nice to disc. I feel like we've been just drafting kind of like weird reanimate decks. If we take char so it's funny because if we take Charter Course, I'd almost rather have Watery Grave because it would help fix. I think we just take Dothy Voidwalker here. Yeah, that seems fun. Oh, reanimate? Oh, now we're doing it. Guys, we're living the dream now. No, Katie's away. Katie is uh, currently in Arizona doing like a work thing. She'll be back tomorrow night. Okay, you got it. All right. <sighs> Maybe Kolagon's Command? It's a discard outlet. This is also an island in a swamp. In case we want to be blue, which you often do. I think yeah, this is a deck that definitely wants to be blue, but Colagons. No, I'm going to Colagons, good. and we're going to try to be red black. What do you think about that? I think that's pretty cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. a cool guy. Pretty cool. Is it real cool? Yeah, it's real cool. <laughs> I kind of just like Rabble Master. Maybe we're just like an aggro deck I that tries to reanimate. I actually really like the black, red, like half aggro, half reanimate deck. All right, and that's what we're going to do. All right. I wish Chrome Mox discarded the card instead of exiled it. I think that would make it a much stronger card. <laughs> yeah, get that Cajun baby. Bitter Blossom? Oh, the Chandra that I wanted came back. All right, we're taking Chandra here. We could take a Lava Claw Reaches, but I really wanted Chandra, so here we are. Um, I'll just take Zealous Conscripts, because that's just a good card. Look, look, look. There's your daddy. Who's your daddy? There he is. He's right there with his big mouth. His big, beautiful mouth. Oh, Thundermaw Hellkite? Maybe I'll just play a Thundermaw Hellkite for, for the lulls.
We also have Zealous Conscript, so if we get Kiki Jiki or Splinter Twin, like. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> exactly what we're looking for. A Mox Ruby, Michael. It's pretty good. Also a Ragavan, but I mean, look, as good as Ragavan is, he's no Mox. God, I'm tempted to take Splinter Twin because we have Conscripts here. I think it is Splinter Twin. And if we got like a Demonic Tutor or something? Actually, see this this deck I like the way it looks a lot. I'm a big fan. Oh yeah, big fan. Is it snuff out? Well, I don't know. Is it just burst lightning? I kinda like Dire Fleet Daredevil. Like the good things you can hit with Dire Fleet are often very good. Yeah, I'll take a Dire Fleet. I think it's better than Burst Lightning and Snuff Out here. I almost almost don't hate Runaway Steam again. So right now we have Reanimate Exhume. We have Liliana to discard. I don't think we need Shallow Grave, but Shallow Grave is good if we get Eldrazi. I think we just take the Shallow Grave. See? <laughs> there you go. You totally destroyed us that one game. So. Rewarded. Also, I love Riddle once a blast, and if that comes back, I will gladly take it, but right now. Also, we got th we can get through the breach or sneak attack as well, so you know, you can do whatever you like. There's a necromancy and a goldspan dragon. That guy's very good, and a Duretti. Like I, I feel, I definitely feel like we're in the right colors here. Kurt, else you sent you mine. Kurt, thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate yeah. you. Always appreciate the free grips. Yeah, man, you're wonderful. Also, you're. One of your presents was mailed today. Yes, we got... Also, Super Fetcher's still here. I think we got his out too, right? Nope, because... I don't think it's Necromancy. We have Reanimate, Exhume, and... Is it just this guy? God, yeah, that this card's so good. very good on any, any end of the spectrum. I think it's better than Thunder Maw. So, if we're playing... This is pretty good. It's all right. It's okay. Does it not impress you much? It doesn't really impress me that much, I'll be honest. It's a, it's a good evolving wild, essentially. It's a really good evolving wild. <laughs> That's true, I guess. Luna's Prowler is a discard outlet. I think we take it. So is Duretti, though. I don't think we... I, I think I'd rather have a cheaper card. Yeah, we're also not really going to take advantage of the other Duretti stuff. So. You know what? I'll take a Sword of Feast and Famine. I know you're not capable of taking the Bazaar. Ooh, Black Cleave Cliff. Yeah, it's a good one. Is that better than Vampiric Tutor, though? EOT Tutor for a piece you need seems really yeah, good. Yeah, I mean, we're only two Yeah, cards. I'm taking that. And I'll take the Bomb for a third. I, again, like, I'd love to have Fixing, but... All right. Give Mountain... The... I, I might. The Bursty. Oh, Glory Ringer's all right. I think Dire Fleet... It's kind of sus sometimes. Okay, we'll do a little shit. Duretti tabled? 14th pick Duretti. I think a lot of people don't realize that like, he's just good. Like You don't really have to have an artifact for him to be uh, artifact. He deck. makes his own artifacts. He make his own juice. Oh my god, do they not have Carolina anymore? Oh my god. That sucks. Courage just sent me an image and they say he doesn't see Carolina. Rip. Dang. What did I get instead? The spicy Korean Q? Yeah. That's my other favorite go-to. Yeah, Kurt, give me the spicy Korean Q instead. I think it's just a braid here. Yo, what up, Zelly? It's your boy. I kind of like Wooded Foothills, though, but we don't have anything to get to get black with it. 
I'm gonna take it. Yeah, I, I think it's just too good of a pickup in case we get a blood crypt. Hey. <laughs> also, there's a fairly strong chance the Hellrider comes back. I heard that card's really disgusting. Oh, that card's insane. Have you not played this card yet? I've played it once in Commander, and it was still pretty good there. So I imagine oh, it's insane. it's insane. Yeah. I think it's like warping, right? Oh, it's warping. Uh, I, I'm tempted in case like a Dark Depths spins around. Well, it's also spins like a around. solid answer to Planeswalkers. That's true. And the alternative is like... It's a decent little aggro. Yeah, all right, sure. I think it's fine. Oh, that's interesting. It's pretty good. Vortex is like an unbeatable sideboard card, though. It's probably not worth it. Have you ever cast a sneak attack and then had a creature as well? Look how late these go, man. People just don't want to do the That's cool stuff That's a really anymore. surprisingly late Ancient Tomb as well. I'm going to take Deluge here. If I can just get one more fat idiot for this sneak attack, I would be more than happy. That would be good. I'm kind of just tempted to take Gruul Signet here. Just in case we get the Minskin Boo coming back. I mean, I doubt Minskin it. Boo. Yeah. Metal Warp's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I like a lot. I do not think we need any more discard outlets, though. I'll put Dire Fleet in the sideboard for now. Same with Hex Mage. I'm not, like, super impressed. Actually, mm. not good for Sneak Attack. I'm just thinking, like, Reanimate. Like, getting this dude back is pretty I good. Mean, it's an okay sneak attack. It's not just not that great. Oh, no, it's not good. I, I don't think it's great at all. Like, especially if they're not blue. It's like, well. Abba dee da die, you know? Did Christian hear me? I don't know. Christian, let me know if you heard. Fascinating. Let me know if you heard me or not, because. Because I don't know if I need to type it in the chat. I don't think I need this. No, I take the Ember guy. I would too, actually. Actually, wait, isn't... Oh, never mind. What? Um, what were you going to say? Would be like a good reanimator, too? Oh, uh, I don't actually know. <laughs> I think she is. Here's an Abraid. The Abraid came back. This is an interesting Deceiver Exarch. We have Creeping Tarpit. Renegade Adventure is a very strong mechanic. And it's the reason why I wanted to make an Oops All Creatures deck. You know, I might even play this guy. Blood tokens are... I guess in the Reanimator, Blood Tokens are pretty... Right! Good. It gives you that discard outlet. Although overall, as a mechanic, Blood Tokens are a real bust. Interesting. I mean, you could even play the Little Goblin. I don't think we're aggressive. I don't think actually. we're like, yeah, I don't yeah, think we're, we're like one drop yeah, yeah. aggressive. Yeah. I think we're like Deceiver Exarch, Splash Off, Fiery Islet, Prismatic Vista, one one red, one blue, one island, and Creeping Tar Pit, though. Oh, we do have the twin. I missed that part. Unbelievable. And the twins, you know. What does that even mean? Reference to a really terrible, awful, old Bud Light commercial. Fascinating. See JTHD knows. It's a really stupid and definitely a no no. Okay. No. I went to the bathroom and then when I restarted the recording, Michael was going to start talking right in the middle. Now he's leaving. Why are you leaving now? Where's he going? What's even happening? This is 24 cards. Drying out. Same. Oh my god, Christian. What do you say? <laughs> it's too good. Oh my Why did I laugh? I laughed out loud and then I like typed LOL in the chat like he couldn't see me say that. Do that. Say that, do that. Yeah, but it was funny. I know, but it's do I even like sneak attack here? Yes, because of Ulamog, right? Like, it's a two-card combo, so, you know. Ramos, yes, 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 yes. 
Say grandmas. Yes, 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 yes. I said rabble master. Yes, 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 yes. That makes more sense. Also, sometimes you just get that turn through rabble master and they're just dead. That's true. It's pretty aggressive. That's for true. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. This is 24. What do I cut? I like everything. I can cut shallow. No, I can cut exhume, maybe? No. Okay. Don't be stupid. Maybe Embereth Shieldbreaker, because we have a braid. You can board it in. I think that's fair. Yeah, if they're if they're particularly heavy. Also, do you like having that sword in the in the uh you know in the boardy? Sword oh, in the yes, boardy. The swordy in the boardy, as I used to say. Yeah, this is the under over of your comic book <laughs> comic book wall being worth more than I'd make it a year. Pretty close. No, Midnight Me, we like the black-red two-drop because it gives you a discard outlet in the blood token. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Nine, nine, huh? I think I might want more black. Why is there an island in there? Because we can search for oh, it with right. a prismatic vista. Yeah. And, yeah. and we got to see Rexark, you little, you little nugget. Oh, he'll send her the, the Katie Happy Meal. Two, two cheeseburgers and a McFish. <laughs> I think that's about right. Hold on. I actually might have a picture of the comic wall. Yeah, I think you do. Hold on. I think you've posted it before. No, I've never posted on Facebook. Oh. This is the current comic wall. That's very big there. So we got Avengers number six, first appearance of Baron Zemo. First Avengers number eight, first appearance of Kang. This is just Avengers number twenty. It's got a cool Doctor Doom encounter, and I just like it. Uh, this is Avengers like forty nine, maybe forty forty eight. I don't know. But it's the first appearance of the Black Knight. This is Captain America two eighty one, I believe. It's the first appearance of Falcon. Uh, first appearance of Galactus and Silver Surfer. Uh, first appearance, uh, this is first, one of them is cameo. One of them is full. This is like this, this trio is the silver surfer saga. This one's signed by Stan on the first page. Um, this is just silver surfer. Number one, silver surfer. Number four, both these are pretty iconic silver surfer issues, which I'm a big fan of. This is first appearance of green goblin. Uh, this is first appearance of the punisher. This is first appearance of Dr. Doom. First appearance of Thanos and first appearance of Moon Knight. So you say you like first appearances? I usually like our no Rob. Oh my god! I usually like the second appearance. That's what I get. I seek those out. It's not as good, is it? No, this could actually be probably a mono red deck. Even you could definitely make this a mono red deck for sure. For sure. For shorty. Plus with the sword, we could just be ganking noobs. Is that what that, that was the kid say? Uh, ten years ago, I think. In I feel only like League of Legends. I feel like I want one more mount, one more swamp here, but I don't. No, I don't want to draw like too many swamps and not have enough double red, double red, double red. I think it's fine. Don't you have like nine sources of black? These are all the things that could double. This is black. This is a red. So we have one more red source than black source right now. But we not only have more black cards, we have triple black, double black, double black. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. That feels better. Because, I, yeah, we have two drops and three drops that need double red here. Double black, rather. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you don't have much early red stuff. And, and, our, and our red stuff that's early just needs one. So... The first appearance of Beta Ray Bill. That's pretty, that's pretty tight. Oh, I also have the first appearance of Beta Ray Bill. I love a Beta Ray Bill. Thank you. Good enough for the wall. Water Sports Drew, what up, buddy? Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, my dude. I don't know anything about Beta Ray Bill. Why don't you find out about him? I could. 
Okay. What, what are you playing? Yeah, it's his fault, Michael. I wonder if he'd ever make it into the MCU. Uh, he there was talk of him being in the next Guardians movie, but he would fit into the Guardians vibe. That would make sense. Actually. Oh man, look at this picture Kerwood took of our old room in old in the old house. house. Wow, that's wild, man. Is the, is the comic wall a little different? Uh, yeah, a little bit. There's an Iron Man number one, a Doctor Strange number one sixty nine. Nice. Is that for the meme or <laughs> no? It's because it was the first appearance. Uh, it was the it was I don't know. It was the first appear. It was the. <sighs> you were struggling. Yeah, folks? I'm trying to figure out like. It was. It doesn't matter. I don't know. I can't figure it out right now. What made you switch over from the whole like putting the comic in front of the statue? Because he couldn't see the statue. Smart. <laughs> Also, I guess with this case, like, you're running out of room at this point, I guess. No, you could probably fit a couple more in there. Oh, what up, Drew? I'd say in life I'm doing all right. You think this round is ever going to fire? No. Okay. Well, while we're waiting, you guys should try HelloFresh. It's a great subscription service with food that's tasty and delicious that you make yourself. So, uh, that's true. yeah, you can order about six meals for $28, which is what I did. We got them on, on today, actually. And uh, me and Katie have ordered HelloFresh before. It's always been very good. But it's a great way to support the channel because for like 30 bucks, you get not only the food, which is delicious, but you also get to support the channel. And they definitely uh, give me a, a consist, uh, significant kickback. From each, from each uh, subscription. Plus, you you can cancel after a week or two if you don't like it for any reason. That's totally up to you. It's totally okay to do that. I would still get the the kickback, so it's nothing you have to commit to. Watson just woke up from a nap. Clearly, Watson. Well, see, see, look, even even here we got three red sources and one black source. I mean, I'm gonna keep it because it's mocks and. Also, uh, we should support Frank. You're supporting the dogs. Yeah. That's Little how Wally the dogs Watson, get their food. And Hunter and Little Man and every other animal we have, which we could go on for a while. I don't think so. We're going to start with this because I want to play Voidwalker if possible. Or Liliana. Why are there so many dogs in here? Oh, is Rob here? Oh, he is. Oh, what up, Rob? Oh, cool. I'm playing the reanimate deck and our opponent literally main deck. Oh, that's a, yeah, that's a hate piece. That's cool. That's a hate piece. <laughs> Michael, you're under arrest for the hate piece. Also, just to to clear it up, since you're asking, uh, got promoted uh, the job. Been losing a lot of weight, getting a lot stronger in the gym. You'll find it, I'm sure. Don't worry. Trying to get healthier. We're doing good. Got a new iPhone. First time doing an iPhone, for like a lot. He's doing it. He's doing the iPhone. <laughs> That's what the kids say. That's what you said. Fascinating. Yeah. Yeah, unlicensed person to Fable of the Mirror Breaker. I mean, to be fair, half the cube is like standard cards now, like standard slash modern cards because they're just that good. Also, Hellrider and Young Pyromancer. Like, what is this? This is like an aggressive three color deck. Just like a bunch of good mid rangey teamer stuff. Uh,. How did they get, how did they, am I, what am I missing? How did they get five mana? One, two, three, four, five. But they play to land this turn off of, am I, what am I losing, am I losing my mind? Oh, this guy created a treasure token. Yes. That's right. Good. Okay. I was like, oh my God, am I having a, a brain Uh, I'll go homage. I don't feel like destroying my artifacts just yet. Oh, that's interesting. I'm fascinated. Andrew, I did the same thing. I haven't had a, I've never had an iPhone until now. Always, I was always Android or Samsung. I guess those are kind of the same thing, but you know what I mean. It was Android or Samsung, one or the other. <laughs> kind of the same operating platform. It is. That's the point. Samsung has their own UI now, technically, right? I think. Just stop it. You're being ridiculous. <laughs> Someone asked what your your dream comic is that you don't know. Um, like fantastic. Uh, like number one of Fantastic Four or something like that. Something ridiculous. No, it's probably just Amazing Fantasy 15, right? 
I mean, they did. They did recently. That's the first. That's the first. Uh, first Spider Man, yeah. Yeah. Seems like a good one. Yeah, it's like forty bucks now. So you know, it's pretty pricey. It's up there. Yeah, the reprint. <laughs> you know, that a couple more zeros there for the OG. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go get Splinter Twin. They're going wide though. White boy, white boy. What? You said white boy a bunch of times in the room. Why? Like I was a rapper. Fascinating. I'm fascinated. Motorola. Wow, they got a Ragavan? Jesus. That's a lot of damage. Do I even want to go to eight here? I don't think we win. Fudge. We could get an Oolong and sneak attack. That's not going to do either, though. Is there any? Oh, Massacre Worm. We Oolamog for Massacre Worm. Or we Vampiric Tutor for Massacre Worm. Oolamog for it. Okay, I will. Although I think that might just completely end the game here. I'm actually fairly certain of it. They'll take two, four, six, eight, ten. Are they almost? They're almost dead, right? Two, well, don't forget we get to attack and attack with the uh, Massacre Worm, and then that kills another thing. So. Oh yeah, they're super dead. Michael, thank you for making me take Massacre Worm. This was really nice of you. Uh, one, two, three, four. Sneaky beaky. Who's your massacre daddy? Put him in the garbage can. And then you take I mean, a boo. twin would win, but we don't have it in our hands. No, it's twin would. Oh, yeah, because you can flash. Oh, no, we could have gotten it with. Oh, true, true. Yeah, so we had multiple courses of victory. Yeah, but this is cooler. Uh, we couldn't have won with Twin, actually, because we this wouldn't have haste unless we snuck it in, and we can't sneak and Splinter Twin in the same turn. Yeah, we don't have red pips. Yeah, man, where are the red pips? Because you have to attack to get the treasure, so that still wouldn't work. Also, this is cooler. It's just, like, cooler. Also, uh, now they don't know about that combo, so it's a surprise still. So we're bringing in Toxic Deluge. Seems pretty solid. We're also bringing in uh, Infernal Grasp and Burst Lightning. Just a bunch of just a bunch of cheap nonsense. We're also bringing Hex Mage as another cheap nonsense. Double Black though, maybe not. Maybe not. Take out Void Walker for Hex Mage. I think that's probably better. Yeah. I mean, I'd rather have a creature that can block their stuff than not. Uh, I, I think Portal's probably fine. I mean, if, if Portal's too slow, like, I might just take Ulamog and, like, Shallow Grave out. But we still got Sneak Attack and Shallow Grave, like. Be careful, Watson is below us. Always. Let's take out Ulamog and Shallow Grave. Yeah, that might be too slow. Black Mage. I'm going to take out Sneak Attack 2 and bring in Glory Bringer because that just kills guys. And now we're just going to be less of a combo. We still have Splinter Twin, Deceiver X, Sarg, Zealous Conscripts. And we can still reanimate stuff. Wally can move. Yeah, that one said a shot of all three of them. That would have been perfect. That's fascinating. Seems like a pretty solid hand. I mean, if we get anything that we want to do, even if we were just reanimate next turn, that's actually insane. Just discard Goldspan Dragon, reanimate. Oh, well, that's good. That's the probably the best two drop you could have asked for, I guess. Literally. I still have two cards for a single. Yeah, that's 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 really frustrating, I guess. Doesn't have to be a creature to do it. So brutal. It's very good. 
Hold a little jerk. I guess we just play Liliana. Yeah. Mm, no, I don't really want to start discarding things. Because I don't want to give them a ton of value off of this stupid idiot. True. Plus, like, if they play, I want them to play a creature that I can kill with this. Yep, yeah, you got it. Delicious. Is it for creature cards? Number of cards exiled with it. So it's like right now it's a 1 1, even though it doesn't. Even though it doesn't say that. I mean, we could just hard cast Goldspan Dragon with another with another mana. Not as cool though. Oh, I mean, we're just dead. Us? Yeah. We have Liliana. We just make him sacrifice it. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> we're just dead. They played a Deceiver Exarch. It hurts so many times. Yeah. Don't get fooled again. Mm, sure, you got it. Just getting a red here. When's the last time these beasts have been in this? You literally saw me take them out. It wasn't that long time ago. It was the last break we took. So you tell me. No, it was not that long ago. They're just hungry because it's 7.15. Hmm. Fascinating. The cards can hurt me emotionally. <laughs> Same. What was... What did you even... Muke the delivery man. I do remember Muke. I don't. <laughs> Michael, sometimes I definitely do worry about your brain. I do. There's <laughs> probably like a brain worm in here or something. Oh, yeah. well, that's. Delicious little thopters. Eat them up. Yeah, this thing is definitely huge. That's a big old bus. Nice. Play that land. We're in in six. Fascinating. You got it. I had a Sunny D pre workout once. Surprisingly decent. Guess we're taking six. That's interesting. Tempted to shoot this, attack here. They don't have the mana to sack it, so that's good. Uh, or we can just attack their face. They'll block, and then we can shoot the run in six. Shoot it. One, two. Three, four. The second part, we usually double, double the money, <laughs> double the fun. Five, That's a good dragon. Six, seven. Might be the best dragon ever printed. It's very good. Double the money, double the fun. Double the dragon gun. Fascinating. <laughs> 
Oh my god, I was tapped. I could have actually reanimated, but there's nothing to reanimate left because it doesn't matter because he's already taken everything good. He's already hurt me too much. Oh, just like I've had an opening. My plans. Oh, Jesus. So if you crew, then you can't tap. You crewed last turn. Were you not here for that? Knock that wall. Understandably. That's oh. they have no cards in hand. Oh, that's that's juicy and delicious. <laughs> that's juicy and delicious. So if they actually triple block this, we can reanimate it. Oh, we, I guess they don't have to triple block. We can just block and be on our way. Oh, but reanimate actually deals us nine. No, eight. That's ooh, that's that's rough. Um, they are in red. He does throw cards in hand though. Oh, and also we take from the Eidolon. That's why I said nine, yes. Ah. Yeah. They can also, then they just sack P and Kieran, a lot, the, the, the hearse, and kill us. So. Oh, they won't kill us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't want to. Please. Well, we got rid of Oko. This is one, this is one, two, three, four damage. Can we go to six? That is the question. Just to get an Abbot. So one, then we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six mana to play whatever we want afterwards. It's not terrible. Plus, we still have Deceiver X Arc in hand. Yeah, let's do it. It's one of our few opportunities to do this. I don't want a little jerk. I agree, but they're also like kind of priced out of Massacre Arm. Oh! <laughs> Huzzah! Wow. That's uh, pretty good. That was the call we wanted. One, two, three, four, five, six with Xaxes. Wow, what a hit, dude. Chip, chip, chip. Bro, bro, bro. Remember, chip and rob him. Remember that time I said Massacre him like a second before we flipped? If you don't, they're being ridiculous. Stop roll it. back the videotape. They roll drew a back. land. Oh, wow, that was a game. You might say roll that beautiful bean footage. Roll <laughs> the bean footage. The first, first time I heard that, I laughed for like five minutes in a row. Five minutes in a row? Yeah, at least. Almost died. Oh, wow. This is a nice one. Mm, it's better. The card is appropriately named. It is a massacre. Agreed. A regular Babe Ruth. <laughs> He's calling his shots over here. Oh, look at that little nerd. Rude. You're rude. Sometimes. Well, every day. Every day, your every whole day? life. No, I, don't that, right? I don't care what you know. You think I'm joking? You think this is a joke? Yeah. You think I'm a joke, Michael? I know what you're doing time, okay? <laughs> After this round, we're gonna go. I'm gonna go feed the boys. Because they're getting really absolute master of his craft. It's because he knows he's adorable. Incredible little eyeballs. Of Incredible little eyeballs. Yeah, he uses what... little eyeballs to, with the cuteness. Are you more of a noble or ignoble hierarch kind of guy? That's a good question. Probably ignoble because it's black and green. But that one's blue and. <laughs> oh shit! You're right. Damn it. So no, it doesn't matter. I have no preference. They're all my beautiful children. I'm more of a death right guy. Okay, you don't want to brag about it. It's just like picking the best one, though. It doesn't really mean much. much. That's true. If you can play it in any format. Still legal in Commander. So, like your mom? Yeah, like my mom. She's they illegal. left her legal in Commander, right? Nowhere else, though. She's banned and everything else. That's brutal. Because of the public nudity? Oh, yeah, do your one-foot thing. Man, you're like a... 
Artiste. They strip mined my red source. This is just rude. And then they. Oh no. They're breaking all your things. It's Sometimes you play against people and you're just like, this dude clearly has no soul. Little jerk. Really like a card I can play here. That would be fantastic. That's not it. I see how you have rejected my wants. <laughs> I see how you have rejected What's my stop? wants. It's a little biscuit. Okay, keep it keep it down just a little bit, bro. That hurt someone's ears. No, it's just I don't think it makes the best content just complaining about Watson or the dogs or whatever, you know? Like it just feels like it's it's it feels like it's overcoming the stream and the and the and the recording and the content, if that makes sense. Like it I understand. Don't be hearing from my lord. I understand. It's <laughs> <laughs> fair. Who's also Watson? What? Yeah. Oh my god. Practice the law. This is unheard of. I guess we'll do a little trade Z. You Okay, so this is another toxic deluge match. I guess we'll make them sacrifice something. I don't think we're gonna get down. Wow, that's really Really negative. The delay is what made it funny. That's really too much. <laughs> it's really negative. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. We were holding breath. No, I was breathing. I'm good. I was breathing. I'm gooch. Okay, you just want to do this bullshit? Right, well, that's all I need to it, see. You win. I understand. You're a jerk. Alrighty then. Toxic deluge burst lightning. All of the damages, Infernal Grisasp. Favorite album from last year? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'd love to say Logic's new album, but like, kind of a lot of stinkers on it, if I'm being honest. You're kind of a big stinker. Hmm. It's sort of Feast and Famine, but Pro Green good here. That seems correct. Probably. Good. Good. Great. Great. Oh my god. Oh, uh, actually, I do have an answer. Uh, Matt Watson did an album that I really like. Watson? <laughs> yeah. He's a YouTube guy that also does rap, but it's actually really good. Like, he started off making joke songs, but then. He made real songs and they're all good. Look at that. Look at that guy. Beautiful. Beautiful. I cannot think of the name of the album though. I guess you could look it up. <laughs> uh, there's no I, I I could I can't think of the album. I guess there's nothing I can do. See you later. Uh, that was called See You There. I'm gonna kill this, but I honestly don't think it's worth it. I feel like there are bigger threats that we want to kill. Like if they play like Excavator or something. Okay. A little grissy tissy. Well, that's sad. Really Except rock, but he's definitely got some more interesting songs that aren't exactly rap. Like some of them are kind of pop. So, so first came there a mono green. Now we see a nurtured peatland and a double red Chandra in the graveyard, and I have no idea what's going on. Switch decks. 
Classic. I guess, I guess so, yeah. That's that seems correct. Ooh. Explodes. <laughs> I don't personally know. Is that the desk or did you just fart? I, that was neither the desk nor the fart. I think I think your chair just moved. It wasn't me. I didn't move. I, I, no, I didn't say Michael moved. I said the chair moved. It made a little crick. I thought you said your chair moved. I did. Your chair made a little crick. But it didn't. Oh, Michael, based on your hearing, I can't imagine you're wrong in any way, shape, or form. About exactly, that. thank you. Making way downtown, walking fast. That's where your assessment of Grist is. I keep being underwhelmed by him. Maybe I'm wrong? I don't know. Good inflection. Maybe I'm crazy. But it just might be. Oh my god. Oh, that's good, because now we got this creeper. Creeper McGeeper up in this beast up in this beast. Attack Gristletist. Rex is the number twice the number of blood tokens you control. Blood. Joke's on you. I don't control any. Is the joke on him? I don't know. Joke's on somebody. Yeah. You don't want a discard card? You do want a discard card. Beautiful. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Can we go to, are we going to combat? Are we going to damage? Proceed to damage. If we draw one more land, I'm just going to play sword, equip sword, you know? That's, that's just life I'm living, you know? Is that what the kids say? I call it the S word, you know. Hmm. Interesting. I agree. The S word? Yeah. What's the S word on the word? I don't know what that means. Neither do I. Sometimes I, I think you just say nonsense and hope it works, you know? Yes. Okay. Good. A lot. That's interesting because I have a Kolagons command. Perhaps you've heard of it. So how many? They'd have to discard three cards in order for this to not do anything. Okay, so that's good. Man, if you can hear you, you'd be so owned. God, please give me one land so that I can go attack. It, what are you doing? Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop it! <laughs> are you just gonna kill my Doretti spaghetti? Not spaghetti, no. They can kill planeswalkers. Sheesh. They can kill anything they want, Michael. They're adults. Anything? One land. What about a banana? Oh my god. That's un. It's not as good. It's not as good. No. I was gonna equip, attack their face, untap, Colagon's command, kill this guy, deal two to this guy. I guess I can still do that. It just doesn't feel the same, you know? Uh, destroy an artifact. Deal two damage to any target. Uh, what's the question? Choose an artifact? This guy. Damage this guy. What's the question? <laughs> what's the answer? Tell me the question. 
I bet they get rid of creeping tar pit when they when they untap. I don't like when they strip mine. I don't either, man. It's it's not a fun card. Land destruction is the worst format. Worst worst thing in the game. You think land destruction is a format? Was it like standard modern land destruction? Those are the yeah. formats? It's like occasionally you see someone on Twitter is like, I love playing land destruction and commander. I'm like, well, then I'll never play commander with you because I hate that more than anything. And I hate you. Cool. <laughs> look, they got look, they got rid of the creeping and tarpet like I said they would. Look at that guy. What a champion. Oh, that's that's fascinating. See, it seems kind of loose in their deck. That's what <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you stopped yourself. <laughs> I was like, mm. 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 well, they're just going to draw acidic slime, so that's good. So I think we're dead. I haven't done one wild dude. I mean, we can kill the Oracle, but they still draw Acidic Slime, putting us to two lands. I'm actually going to redo those in digital form so I can print them and make them. In digital tokens. form. Intergalactic. There's a... I forget the name of the site, but you can, like, make playing cards, so you can just send them images, and they'll put it on, All like, right. a well, standard like, like card size. bird, I guess. It's, like, 50 bucks for 100 cards, so... Intergalactic planetary... You know that song? Yeah. You ever heard those guys? The main reason I'm doing it is so they can have the same frame as real tokens, so it looks cooler. It'd be a lot cooler if it did. That's interesting. I'm kind of glad they left us keep the blue, because we only have an island after this. Meanwhile, we have the most black of any color in our deck. Bingo, bango. So we know they're drawing a Bird of Paradise, which actually gives us quite a bit of flexibility to play Sword here. That's pretty good. That actually... The bird will not stop the sword. Well, they get to get a free draw with Nurtured Peatland, though. And as soon as Prowler's doing some work, dude. Sometimes a 3-1 flyer for two is just enough. Even if they can discard to make it smaller. That's a deal I'll take any day. <laughs> sure, you do that. Go for it, sport. Champ. Thanks, Paul. Buddy. Guy. Okay, that's enough. That's enough, Michael. God, he just kept going. Like that energizer bunny. So now they got a bird in hand. They're going to put a bird on it. I heard you can put those on anything. Who knows? Reminds me of one of the games game. There's a friend. You had turn one solar ring, turn two Marami's Wake, turn three cast Kozilek. And he was like, okay, I guess you don't want to play Magic and Scooped. I think this is a pretty fair, fair reason to scoop. I'm pretty sure he said Marami's Wake. Like he's saving the Marami, Marami for, for your Marami's way. There you go. You know, it might be unlikely that I equip the sword on the construct. Although I will once I... If I attack, I'll come back and be like, equip this guy. What do you think their, what do you think their extra card... Oh, Watson, I didn't know you were up here. What do you think their extra card was uh, outside of the bird? Because they got a lot of mana right now. One, two, three, four, five, bird, six. Two electric boogaloo. They didn't play the bird. That's fascinating to me. That isn't a weird choice. That was Watson. It's quite the noise. Oh, they're probably keeping the birds. They discard. They don't have to discard the other card. I don't know, man. This is. Ah, uh, yes, the classic film Gorlami's Way. A true by mystery. Quentin Tarantino. I do love a good Gorlami's way, wake. After Gorlami passed. Okay, so they discarded to give negative. Oh, it's a scalding turn. Okay. 
Might as well discard the bird, too. You're just going to discard it otherwise. Do do not. Don't say do do. Don't matter. Okay. I do still have a fascinating sense of childhood wonder. That's very true. I'm almost tempted to do a braid the Rafellos because I think it's, it's, a lot yeah, it, it really yeah. minimizes what they can do. So they haven't showed us like that many artifacts? Well, I was mostly dead. saving it for like ramming up excavator so they don't strip mine us forever. But honestly, with Sword of Feast and Famine, I, I don't think that's a super we big don't concern. need lands where we're going, buddy. If you can't kill this little bird, you're dead. I'm going to have six. I got nothing else to do. I'll take it. I think going to seven's probably okay here. One card in hand, yeah, I think we're safe. That guy's oh pest infestation. Come on. No, that is an answer. That, however, I do not is. like it. But they have to play. Don't they need like seven mana to do it? I mean, they could just do it for one on the sword. Oh, it's not cost. It's just X is equal to the targets. Okay, my bad. But if they do that, then they just died of my flyer because then they don't have any cards in their hand so it's really well they get the little fly. bugs right they don't fly <laughs> what do they do oh and they don't you can't sack them right they're just when they die oh that should be game he got them so they either play pest infestation to kill the sword then they take three with no cards to discard wow i thought we were gonna lose this game and then unis prowler's like no nah, i'm coming in i'm coming in clutch So you're doing it for two? You're going to get four one ones. Sounds good. No, that's the way to kill him, which we know you don't. I like the way you die, boy. Is it... Is it little Frankie's turn? I guess we'll take four. I don't really see any of these things being I mean, detrimental to my health. Yeah. Right. It'd be really great if I could play a game with more than three lands, though. That's really where I'm, I'm at mentally. <sighs> Especially because we have all this removal, man. I want to bring in Glorybringer over Course of Portal because they, they have the stupid pest infestation. So I kind of want to minimize the number of artifacts they can just eat. They can just chomp away, you know. It's true, sometimes three lands is enough. As per this game. Doesn't mean you have to like it though. What are you saying? Prowler did literally carry us the entire game. Prowler was an MVP, dude. Not even close. Ooh, what is this? This is a turn one Prowler, turn two Liliana? It doesn't matter, it has a Prowler in it. That's the best card in our deck, boy. That's true. It, funny enough, it might actually kind of be the best card in deck because it's an aggressive thing that's a discard outlet, which seems pretty strong. You're an aggressive thing. Sometimes. You're an aggressive little thing. <laughs> wow. I'm tempted to just kill this guy. I'm not going to, though, because I'm an adult, but we could have went a braid into Liliana. That might have been better. Mm, yes, I see. Now I'm glad we saved our braid. Oh, Brody. What do they say? Tell me. Always save the braid. Do they say that? I mean, you just literally on to make him sack his guy. We are. That seems pretty I want good. you to know that we are going to do that. I'm doing it right now. Okay, thank you. You're going to watch it happen. All right, great. Yeah. Phenomenal. Yeah. Bro. Can you target yourself with that? I can target anybody I want. Nice. I'm an adult. Good. Kill one of my swamps. Thank you for confirming your adult. I appreciate oh, it. Oh, boy. Okay, that's guy. a loop, right? We're, right? You can just keep getting your strip mine back. I think we're dead. Yeah. Yep. That's good. Very, very... It's been a fun game. Everyone played... Oh, I guess you could kill it, right? How? It's target creature. Mm, yes. I like that less. Yes. Yes. I just want to concede here. 
I mean, I don't see a way out of not being able to play any more lands for the rest of the game. Agreed. If we already had a Prowler on board, I'd be like, let's go. But Cool. Hey, remember that time Ren and Six completely dominant? I do. That's I a, feel like it was recently. It's a messed up magic card, man. Well, here we are. Pretty good. Here we are. Round three. It's almost as if every time our opponent could keep playing Strip Mine, we lost. Also, I got these HelloFresh recipe cards that they send you. This one is for Tuscan Trattoria Chicken and Kale Spaghetti. Hard to see, but... Trattoria. What if I put it in front of the microphone like this? Oh, beautiful. That did it. Very good. So they give you the... There's the these are the ingredients over here. And this is how it's going to look when it's done. And then on the back, we have the instructions on how to cook it. And these are cool because you just save these, and then they just go on your little... Your little recipe folder, whatever you got. Yeah, this is looking pretty sexy. I'd slay it. Yeah, you want to eat it right now? I mean... Is it hot? I wouldn't. <laughs> Hopefully. I usually enjoy hot pasta. I'm not really a cold pasta guy, you know? Really? Not a dessert spaghetti man. You, you know? don't like the dirt pot... The dirt... Dessert... Dirt... 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 Nailed it. Can you smell toast? I can always smell <laughs> toast. Oh, no. She's already gone. Yeah, it's just my... That's my secret, Michael. Default. I always smell toast. God, Watson's still up here. Oh, sneak attack into Uli. Uli Maduli. This hand actually looks very good. It's turned two Rabble Master into, ideally, a Chandra into a sneak attack because then we'll definitely have the mana. So this hand actually gets going with one land. You got a few turns to get there. Oh, this guy's going to help. Sucker. Come on, buddy. Give it to, oh, he didn't. It was Liliana. Come on, buddy. Give it to Daddy. Hmm. You didn't like that? Mm. Think about it. That's kind of funny. Okay, good. So you might say, in a way, I do like it. And another way. also hating it. Yeah, I yeah. understand. Why would they take away the Carolina mustard flavor at Wingstop? Usually when they say limited time, they're like, one week. <laughs> See you later. Well, I think we got it like in early December. Don't though. give me facts. I don't like that. I understand. I apologize. It did take away the lemon pepper one too, which is annoying because I thought that flavor was good. Well, they're testing it out, man. You... Stop it. I need one more land. Can I get one land? In fact, the one thing I don't like about Wingstop is... Oh, God. Get in there. They don't have enough flavors. They have eight flavors. Right, but like a lot of wing places have like 25. No, they don't. A lot of them do? Yeah. No, they don't. I disagree Buffalo with Buffalo Wild Wings... How many flavors is Buffalo Wild Wings? Let's let's Google it. Okay. How many flavors does Buffalo Wild Wings have? Twenty-two sauces. That is a lot, I guess. Wow. And that Wing Shack place, the local one, also has like I don't know, at least fifteen or so. I'm just blocking here. We got a wooded foothills. Then again, the quality of their wings is far superior to Buffalo Wild Wings. So, that's the trade-off. B-dubs is kind of weak, if I'm being honest. I feel like you're being honest, you know? Yeah. I don't really want to neg four because I don't want to risk it. Don't be risking. I'll just exile a card. It's don't be stupid. Gons. We'll say no. I'll pass. No. Salt and vinegar wings. I'm sorry. I personally hate that flavor combo. Hmm. I find it repulsive. Chandra be going to one. But that's all I need to do. Oh, oh. Who? All right. Here we go. Sorry, did you quote that for me? No, it was too much nonsense. This is all I needed. Oh, yeah. The sweet. The, the spicy with the sweet chili. That's always a always a good combo. Wingstop has a flavor like that. It's the mango habanero. It's basically the same thing. Hello, it's me. Oh, is this a new clip? I'm in a dreaming of just how it used to be. It's going to be a massacre, folks. It was he didn't let us attack. He's like, no. Don't give me facts. I don't like that. What is this? I don't like that. I understand. <laughs> give me facts. I don't like that. <laughs> well, that cadence there really makes it like funny. I don't like that. Remember when I took so long to say negative? Wasn't that funny? The anticipation was brutal. Burst lightning coming in again. 
Take out Exhum. I feel like maybe just because of the the power of the, the quick little creatures has gotten so high recently that maybe Burst Lightning is just always a mainer. It, you might not be wrong. You know they say a mainer? Uh, yeah, I always call it a mainer personally. You know Mainer James Keenan from the the thing? The show? The movie? I love, I love the thing. Yeah, he's cool, right? That's a cool guy. Right? Cool yeah, little guy? Cool guy. Real cool guy. All right, I'm going to stick with... Actually, I'm going to take Goldspin out for Glorybringer. Shocking. No, he hits four damage, not two. Like flame, It's more like flame slashing. You know? I have some char. But it's not dealing you any damage, you know? So it's kind of like... Mm. The blue char? I forget the name of that one. Psionic Blast, is that? You know what? Sure. Whatever works for you. I'm going to ship Glorybringer, and we're just going to go Rabble Master, Rabble Master. Rabble, Rabble, Rabble. It's going to be a Rabble Massacre. I'm not saying it's going to be a... No, whatever. A no. Massacre? No. no. I'm, not, I'm not saying it. Don't even try to get me to say that. I was, I was going to. Yeah. I was saying it. Yeah. It is Cyanic Blast. Okay, cool. That is the blue version. One time? One time? In modern? No. At the time, it wasn't called. No, <laughs> it was called something else at the time. But I played a deck that was like four Goblin Guides, four Delver Secrets, Lightning Bolts, Cyanic Blast, Chars. It was great. Not playing against it, it was miserable. This guy's also like a. It may have been extended. A young Pyromancer, except my guys are free every turn. You know. You I know. Me? I think it was in between extended and the other format that became. Modern, whatever that was called. Bergy. No one ever respects the horn on the in the back end, you know? Dire Fleet. Okay. No one expects the horn on the back end. No one ever respects the flip <laughs> side, you know? Huh. Well, that's too bad, I guess. Boom, boom, chicka, chicka. Need to crack open that energy drink. Getting a little tired. <laughs> Michael, it's not even eight o'clock. <laughs> Grandpa. Yeah, I know. Um, Just get up at like five or six in the morning during the week. Tell me what happens after that. You get tired. You get tired. Look at those chickens. Yes, look at them. So I'm tempted to kill the first striker and just attack with all three of these. I think we're doing that. Uh, three damage to the Burgina. Burgina. Oh my god, I killed the wrong one. I'm so stupid. Oh god, that was terrible. Yeah, it's <sighs> not. I meant to kill the stupid first striker. I literally said the words. Yeah, babe, I'm still streaming. How did you know? How did she know that? Then she checked on her cellular cellular device. Oh my, oh my god. That was frustrating. That's going to be a little harder to fix. I'm mad at myself. Oh my god. Goodbye, Creeping Tar Pit. Stop killing our lands. They love... Yeah, this is, this is too much. Alone. I even said, I'll kill the first striker. And then you know what happened? I didn't. Well, that's a big boy. The mind was willing, but the body was not, you know? Let's copy this guy. Can you guess who's... Michael B. <laughs> sure. I was... I was. A, I didn't have anything. Actually, they're just going to trade, and that they're not going to pay for this anyway, so I might as well keep my guy around the block, right? That's actually the smarter play, yeah, I think so. Thank you, Michael. That was very big brain of you. Yeah, thank you. Much wrinkles. <laughs> Look at all these stupid little idiots that just get... Wrecked by it's a massacre worm when you need it. Am I right? You're right. How do you get the blood tokens? You just you just make them. But how? Like how does the ability work? Drain the blood. <laughs> do you, do you, is it an activated ability? Do you attack with it? Just drain it, Michael. Okay. 
Fuck, I'll drain it. I don't know why you're not draining it. Uh, I never learned as a child. <laughs> One day you will. Okay, well, there's no really great attacks here. Oh, what we can do next turn. We should have done it this turn, actually. You blood token, discard battle sphere, and then shallow grave the battle sphere. What? What in the earth? What is happening here? work here. You're doing a great job, son. In a way, that's true. They have one card in their hand, huh? It's the room over there. Wow. Ooh, Direfleet Daredevil. Oh, uh, you have nothing. Happens. Fascinating. Let's get rid of that guy. Fascinating. Okay. One, two, three, four. Do, 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 do the dinosaur. <laughs> it's walk the dinosaur. Mm. Not wrong. I know. Also, a new fun thing about my job is... Uh, new thing? New fun thing? Is introducing, mis introducing myself as the resolution manager while being shirtless. That's always fun. This is a little... I usually don't tell the customer about that, but... This is a little too much information, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. That could be good at some day. At some day. Oh, God. Getting rid of this guy would have been so much better. I've never heard of at some day. Is that after Sunday? Sure. Whatever you want. Tight. Can we just draw Ulamog? Do we take Ulamog out? I bet we did. God, because I have no ambition. Oh, he's still in here. It's great. Hey, what'd you guys have? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's hilarious. Hey, what'd you guys have for dinner? Mike, do you adjust the resolution of an array of cameras or something? What does that mean? I'm just taking it here. They might not have been here for the conversation. Uh, I just, I just, what I do now is when someone asks for a manager, they speak to someone like me. I'm the end boss of the call center, if you will. Michael, what do you do when someone asks you for something? I tell them yes or no based on the business decision. Oh, what up, Mike? I guess we're just direfully daredeviling for no value just to get a 2 1 on the board. I also do do uh, manager stuff as well for other agents. He's talking about his duty. Like approve extra fees and override codes and stuff. What is this you're doing? Manamorphose? That's a good trigger. That's going to trigger all the guys. So triggered. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. They're going wide here. Kids asleep. What country in the world would benefit most from more cube drafting and why? <laughs> oh, God. It seems like a very difficult question to answer. See, it's funny because I don't think any country would really benefit because the poorer countries don't have the equipment necessary to play cube. And I don't think that's what, what they would want if they had had to have something in the in the you know, the more well-off countries are, are able to just do it. Do it, yeah. So, God, it's such a wild question. Well, it's not really a beginner's format. So, that's why Michael can't play cube. Yeah, that's why. Gotti. I wish you had more friends in real life. Oh, you know? What's a real life? What's a real life? Uh, never been there. If I had enough equipment at the house for gym stuff, I'd probably never leave the house at all, basically. Hmm, that's fascinating. I am fascinated. Does that do anything I care about? Probably. I feel like there's never a time when drawing that card is bad. It's possibly true, yeah. It's real versatile. Okay. 
Okay. Well, wow, that's an amazing little rhyme there. It's fantastic. If winning is your goal, draft white to fill the hole. If only fun is your wish, create a yummy five color dish. <laughs> that's amazing. It's incredible. So you're saying white is the best support color. That's interesting. Fascinating. Just that guy, huh? Jabra, was that always true? Just destroy an artifact. No. Two damage to any target. Turn a card from my graveyard to my hand. That's pretty good. Oh, reanimate. Do you do anything? Hey, Stand a Copy Prowler only wins if they don't have any cards in hand, and they've had consistent cards in hand. Right now, if they have one. That's true. I hope. That's true too. Plus they also have Hazard's ability. Is it player or Oh, each opponent. That's great. So they can't kill this guy with that. Yep. Alright, sweet. When wide boards collide. You a wide board? You might say that. Boy, I'd really love to get a card that I can put into play with sneak attack. Specifically a dragon. Just I'll just cast the dragon because they're oh no. Oh dear Jesus. Uh, don't think so currently. Okay. Can't copy legendaries, right? No. That's fine. All of this is fine. You exiled a mountain. Sounds good. Okay, so they have one card in hand. And it's a Krark. Sure. So they're out of cards. That guy ain't got no thumbs. Who is your one. life arch nemesis and who is your cube one? I don't know if they have a life arch nemesis. I think most people don't. I think you actually might be my cube arch nemesis. He's everyone's cube arm. Is it just the end boss? Cube arm, man. He's the end boss of cube. It's true. Yeah. Wait, those guys just died. I don't understand. Why would they? What? I don't get it. Do we? Can we win? Do we just win here? Because they have no cards in hand, so they're taking three from this automatically. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then whatever, whatever creature I draw here gets put into play for. for Oh, we drew a mountain. I see. They have no cards. Uh, I'm pretty sure we win if we just reanimate Metamorph, go to one. You can copy the Kiki to make a token, right? Or the Rabble Master, maybe? Kiki would be better. That's smart. You're smart. Because then we just make a new Prowler. Well, hold on, though. Wait, wait. What? can't tap the Kiki right away, right? It has haste. It's a creature with haste. Ah. Carry on. We're in the beginning of combat, so I already fucked up. One, two, three, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We still win, I think, but... They can't have it not block. Oh, no, it's based on cards. They have no yeah. cards in Yeah, it. okay. Yeah, I still think we get there. We do. But it was... There's no reason for it. Yeah, we should have just reanimated, but... I mean, I guess if they die, it's still fine, you know? Because we didn't really need to. Thank you guys for watching. Is this round... I don't even know what game is this. Might be game two. Might be game three. Who knows? I'm, I'm not alive. I'm not alive. Wait, what? Oh, no. Don't you have two tokens there unblocked? 
I thought I did. Yes. Okay, God. They're really yeah, like, two. oh, yeah, my yeah, God. Yeah. I was like, wait, what? No, yeah. I was like, no, I think there's two there, even though it's not it's not very good. Yeah, that's not. Oh, my God. That was so not obvious. Oh, 2-1. Thank you guys for thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. 100 point loons. Check out HelloFresh. I beg of you. <laughs> it's, it's a great deal, guys. Seriously. It's a great way to support the channel. Feel free to subscribe or follow as well. Also great ways to support, support the channel on YouTube or on Twitch. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate you. I'll see you later.